We're now turning our attention to our parenting expert, Nikki Bush, joining us in studio to share some rules every parent should be aware of before taking their kids to restaurants. Brace yourself for a very interesting discussion this morning. Children spend more and more time in restaurants today than any previous generation of children ever did. And we're going to chat to our creative parenting expert, Nikki Bush, about the 10 commandments for taking children to restaurants so that everyone has a happy experience. And Nikki, I assume you're talking about other diners as well. <laughs> I've had my first That's restaurant true. experience and I was so overprotective and felt so judged. I mean, it's, it's an interesting experience. You thought everyone was watching you. <laughs> um, wh why do we take children out to restaurants? I, I can offer my own motivation, certainly, but um, is it just to get them fed? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's get this straight. Any child under the age of eight is not going to the restaurant because they're hungry and because they're interested in the food. You need You're a going break. because you need a break. You need a change of scenery, different environment. You've been cooped up in your house with your baby, or whether it's just that the children also need a change of environment. Yeah. But when you go to restaurants, you're in a public space. And in a public space, you actually want your children to behave in a kind of, you know, acceptable fashion. You don't want them to be having meltdowns in public. <laughs> and if you don't want meltdowns in public, you have to be paying attention. Why do they save these meltdowns for public? Why does it often happen that they end up misbehaving when out in a restaurant or a public place? The secret is this. Children want our attention. Ah. If we are not paying attention, they will resort to negative attention-seeking behavior, and it's actually as simple as that. Oh, okay. So there are a few drivers for human behavior, for children's behavior. Tiredness, hunger, thirst, boredom, and in need of your attention. attention. And we need to check and tick those boxes. So I have some 10 commandments <laughs> that apply when you're taking children to restaurants. And the first is, a child under eight do not take a hungry child to a restaurant. You feed them before you go. Remember, you're going for the food. Exactly. And the last thing you want is a meltdown right at the beginning because they are hungry and that or they the are tone thirsty for the rest of the night. Yeah. Exactly. So you tick the boxes, checked off those needs, and you you must then order their food with your drinks. Their food usually should come before yours, so that, that you can feed them before you feed yourself. And if you go to a child-friendly restaurant, then while you're eating, you can send them off to the jungle gyms <laughs> or the trampolines or whatever it is. Um, is it all right to take a child to a non-child-friendly restaurant? We also want to be able to eat at places that we like. Absolutely, and I'm a great believer in the fact that children need to learn to behave wherever you decide to take them. <laughs> if you're going to a slightly posher restaurant, you need to be 100% on purpose and attentive. And if you are, so there's no, I'm turning around to speak to my spouse and have a private conversation if you want your children to stay at the table. If you want your kids to stay at the table, you are invested, you are present, and you're focused. And that might mean that we bring along a couple of games to play with our children, because you might wait half an hour for that food to arrive. Um, and we want to be able to enjoy that time with them so that they start to kind of get that pattern as well, that they enjoy going out. So take us through some of these interactive um, time stealers, if I can call them. <laughs> okay, so often you'll go to restaurants and they'll have crayons and they'll have colouring in, but they're broken crayons and it's not a picture your child likes. So go prepared with stuff for your child to do. Now this is a water wow colouring in book. There's water in this, this painting uh, paintbrush oh, and so it's mess free. And it will dry, and then we can start all over again. There's an element of magic, wonder, and surprise, and that is what keeps children attention on this and not on the fountain or, or the, the water feature at the entrance to the restaurant. Or, Plus, or the other patrons. Your, the your, your yeah. attention is on your child, you're leaning over their shoulder, and you oh, I love the colors of that chicken, <laughs> you know, etc. And then there are things to find in this picture. I love that. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get into a few more of these awesome little toys you brought, including a pack of cards, which is very interesting <laughs> to me. Um, very interesting conversation. Um, and I think one you want to stay tuned to a little bit later. We're going to delve into more of those, those wonderful activities that you can bring along with you to a restaurant, whether it's child friendly or not, to keep your child engaged.